coon hunt tonight. This will be our first video put on YouTube. Um, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and hope you enjoy. Manny here and Bonnie. And we've got time for about one cut tonight. I gotta get up for work in the morning at 3.30. So we're gonna let the dogs go and see what happens. Well guys, we uh, made our way down this creek here and uh, Bonnie split off by herself. And uh, she just started barking. She's about 73 yards away. So let's go see what she has. She's, uh, she's a younger dog I got. She's actually only ever treed. Um, she treed one coon by herself that I've seen. And then she has treed on another tree when we were in northern Missouri. But it was so thick I couldn't. Couldn't see if there's a coon in it or not, so we'll just wait here. Yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and go on up there. She's sounding good. She's she's been doing pretty good. She's been getting out there and hunting and pretty gnarly. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I get to the tree. Hey guys, now Fanny got up here and she's settled down tree. It looks like they might be split. We'll see. That's some thick stuff. Where's Fanny? like to get the bonnie first well she don't look like she's on a tree now so she still might be tracking guess we'll see if we can see anything in this tree fanny was barking at but she's left the tree now she uh she come into heat and uh, we ended up breeding her and uh, I don't know, she's, seems like she struggles now to stick to a tree. I don't know, when I got her, she's uh, well, she's three years old and I got her from a guy who said his boy tried a competition hunter and it didn't work out and uh, we got her and she hadn't been hunted in a while and uh, the first few probably the first seven or eight times I took her it was just armadillo hole after armadillo hole and uh, one night she's barking and she's about 160 yards She's been in two armadillo holes and uh i got up there and she was treated on a little spindly old tree and there's a possum in it so i petted her up real good and uh after that she's got one more armadillo hole and i gave her some correction on that and then she's three coons we took her to northern missouri and she treated five coons in a weekend and uh anyways i've been bringing her out she's pregnant now so I've just been bringing her out enough just to stretch her legs. I don't want to push her too hard. But, so yeah, I'll be pretty excited that Bonnie can put this track together and get the coon treed. She's doing good. So stay tuned, guys. I'll get back. I think what happened, it started off, Bonnie struck up a coon, I think. Started working the track, and Fanny came in and took the track a lot farther. Um, Bonnie worked it around here close for a little bit and they took off. They're both about 45 yards away. Um, Bonnie's barking pretty good, but now they've both just kind of got quiet, so I'm not sure what's going on. So, look at the tracker here, which I guess now they split off again. So, 
Fanny is dog number one, and then Bonnie is dog number two, so. Not very far. I might move a little closer to him and I'll get back with you guys. Well guys, it sounds like Fanny might be there. Hoping Bonnie would get in on the action too. That was the tree she was treated on when I came here. If she's on it, we'll go ahead and move in and see what we got. See what we got. I was hoping Bonnie would get over here. The coon is up here in the tree too, but down here the other night and seen uh, about four kitten coons and a mama coon across the road just a little bit up the main road finally got place. Bonnie to tree on it tied her back now Bonnie come up and, get it Bonnie get it get it get it good girl good girl good girl Bonnie good girl Shine the tree now. Get it, Bonnie. Good girl. Good girl. Right, we'll get the coon square up and see if we can't see it. Get it, Bonnie. Get it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Get it, Fanny. Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl.
girl, Barney. Good girl. Well, guys, I'm going to climb up this bank here, and if I find the coon, I'll, I'll get back with you guys. Oh, well, guys, I can't see the coon. I'd say he's up there, just based on how excited the dogs are acting, but who knows. With Bonnie being as young as she is, I'm going to go ahead and pet her up and pet up Fanny too, just because she did pretty good tracking it. So. Good girl! Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Fanny. Good girl, get it, Bonnie, get it. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Well, I'm gonna get Well, we're on our way back to the truck. Gonna get these girls home and get them some fresh water. I was pretty impressed that uh, Bonnie picked up the track first, and she worked it quite a way. She just couldn't get it finished, and uh, Fanny kind of stepped up and took it the rest of the way to the tree. She, uh, I don't know if she was second guessing herself or what, but she'd tree on it a little bit, and then she'd back off, and then she did that a few times, and then she settled down and started treeing good, and then Bonnie got up off the creek bank up on that higher side and then she smelled up the tree on that side and then she started treeing so it was a pretty good night for a one well, drop guys, hunt. got the dogs all loaded up we're fixing to head to the house get them some fresh water so thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Big Iron Outdoors to see more coon hunting videos.